Hey everybody, I, I posted about this video, so you can you can check that out. Um, it was just directing you here. So the post is about how careful uh, we all need to be <clears throat> when understanding the scriptures, um, when teaching them. Uh, the reason I make the video is because I, I almost posted something, well I did on, um, on one social media, but I deleted it. But I think before anybody saw it, um, posted something that, and it was wrong. Um, I thought it was answering a question, but I don't think I, I don't think it did. And let me let me just help, let me give you a scenario and then give you a better option of to answer the, answering the question. I think <clears throat> really quick. So if if I told you if like man if you know you're in you're a Christian, um, but you know, you're caught in some sin, you're doing some stuff you shouldn't. And it's like, man, I just, I, I feel like I've sinned so much. It's like, man, does God even still love me? Does he care? You know, is he just over it? And I come to you with like a passage in Hebrews 12, six that talks about the Lord disciplining the one he loves. So like even in discipline, even in correction, even when he's not happy with what you're doing, he still loves you. Okay. Even in discipline, he loves you. And then Proverbs three, I think verse three, verse 12 talks about the same thing. And it, it might make you feel better. And it might, and I'm not saying that he doesn't love you. Hear me wait till the end. Um, and it may sound right, but I'm not so sure it exactly answers the question. It says he disciplines the ones that he loves. But your question is, does he still love me, though? Is there a point where like the discipline, you know, stops and he just doesn't love me anymore? See, it doesn't answer the, the question. I, and I posted something about that. And I took it down. What would be better, I think, is something like this. And this is us a little off the fly. I, I looked up some stuff quick, really quickly. Um, also in Hebrews 12, if you keep reading past verse 6, talks about discipline from the Lord, the one he loves. It says he's treating you as sons. And he says, if there's no discipline from the Lord, then you're Ill illegitimate sons and you're, you're not actually his children if there's no discipline. Okay, so, okay, so the Lord only disciplines his children. I got you, I got you. I'm trekking with you a little bit. John 1, 12, it's talking about Jesus, and it says, whoever believes in him have been given the right to become children of God. Okay, so those with faith in Jesus are children of God. Faith in, you know, him to save you from your sin and all this, right? So those are the children. Those children get disciplined. Okay, then in John 6, Jesus is talking to some people, and he said, it, um, it, it's John 6, verse, it's like 37 through 39, so read it if I, if I can't get it exactly right. Um, well, basically, Jesus is saying, all that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. And this is the, and then he talked about this is the will of him who sent me. I think this is verse 39, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. Okay, so if we believe in him, we're children in him. Okay, <clears throat> and it's Jesus' job himself to keep us forever, not lose us, raise us up on the last day. So we're children forever if we have faith in him. And those children get disciplined by the Lord. Hebrews 12. Okay, so we see, okay, man, if you feel like you've sinned too much, if you feel like, man, it's just been crazy, God doesn't love me, no, no, because you're children of his if you have faith in Jesus to save you, okay, and those children will never be cast out by Jesus Christ because it's his job to keep you and never lose you, and Jesus is perfect and he won't lose you, you're his forever, and those children get disciplined, so it's like, okay, the Lord may discipline me. The Lord may not be cool with where I am right now, but the Lord still loves me. He still got me. He's still with me. And I hope you can find hope in that. And I also hope that you realize, man, it's some pretty detailed stuff that we got to go through and we got to be careful. Even if it sounds good, even if it's like pleasing to the ear or something, you know, if it's not right, 
can be you know can be speaking it so um, I hope it helps on multiple levels um, here if you need me hopefully <laughs> see you